Taurus, welcome into your monthly reading. We're going to be looking into what might be happening for you in the month of August. If you're new here, my name is Jen. I am tarot reader astrologer. So if you want to book a more personalized reading, be sure to check the options I have down below. A few options via my store, but I do have a one-on-one -on -one option now if you want to get your birth chart done or you want to get a tarot reading plus transit predictions. Um, I have the scheduling link for that down below. Otherwise, let's dive into this reading. By the way, new moon this Thursday. I have a moon magic circle where I teach you how to manifest using the astrological transits. It's a one-time fee and you get into um, six months of the live streams, new moon, full moons. Uh, they're both live and recorded, so you can do it on your own or join into the circle and tune into the meditation and the how-to. So if you're interested in that, check it out. All right, so let's dive into this reading. The song I got on shuffle was Woman Like Me. I'm hearing really specifically either you, or this is your energy or somebody's energy, but I feel like you have, you're going to be meeting somebody and you're going to be kind of like, almost like, can you handle somebody like me? Like, I don't know if you've like gone through it or you're feeling a little bit like anti-love right now, but I feel like you're gonna meet somebody who's gonna be like really persistent and you're gonna be like, you shouldn't like me. <laughs> like you might be playing that role, like I'm damaged, like I'll break your heart. Um, but this could be somebody that you're meeting as well. So keep, keep an eye on that. We have mystery. Secrets and hidden meanings. I feel like you're gonna have this mysterious vibe in August or somebody's gonna find you very mysterious. Uh, 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 we have heart, emotions, and intuitions. Yeah, I see you holding back on this, but I feel like the feelings will be there, but you're gonna be like, um, yeah, guidance. You are divinely guided. And caution, keep your guard up. I do feel like you'll be guarded, but I feel like this has more to do with something that you just experienced and maybe that love manifesting for you so quickly, you're about to be like, um, you know, I'm going through something or like, you should stay away from me, like that kind of vibe. Don't let pride get in your way, full moon and Leo. So it's just saying like, you know, be, be open, be gentle, be gentle with these poor souls. We have show the world the real you. Let's get one more and expect powerful change. So there's change coming whether you like it or not. It's kind of saying like, let the real you shine through. Don't be so guarded, you know? We have a time for healing. I feel like there's a connection coming in for you in the month of August that's going to be very healing for you if you allow it. Because you're going, this person's going to show you how lovable you are. Let's get some oracle cards here the black moon astrology what's happening for you in the month of august we have chiron healing beautiful more emphasis on the healing we have pluto transformation so big changes happening for you let's go one more and sagittarius i see so this could talk about like maybe some of you are going to be traveling i'm seeing for some of you you have some foreign travel here um, for some of you, you have some foreign travel. Some of you are going to be gaining some kind of wisdom or experience about a past situation. Some of you are going to be seeing something big picture, okay? It's like the big pictures here, right? Bottom of the deck, the Knight of Cups. Here's this romantic offer coming in for you, this love offer. Um, romance, romance, romance on the way for crystals but you are like stability <laughs> i feel like some of you just got out of a romantic situation that um left you feeling a little bit depleted but worry not because this romantic offer that's coming in is going to be pouring into you four of crystals why is the four of crystals here we have the six of swords some of you are traveling overseas um or you're going somewhere far away to a faraway land um, some of you are going to get contact from somebody who lives at a distance from you. Um, and this person could live overseas. 
but you have an opportunity here that's about to show up for you and it's like you moving on from a really turbulent time in your life okay and this might come after like a trip or like a trip that you go on that's going to be really like cathartic and healing for you eight of swords this is you feeling stuck two of cups and we have the five of cups all right so eight of swords this is like feeling a little bit stuck feeling a little bit hesitant here um what is the eight of swords doing here the tower card whoa um yeah see this is what i feel i feel like there's been some kind of ending here or some kind of unexpected um change taurus you know what Y'all have a really big transit happening on your Taurus placements, especially if you have Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Leo at 18 degrees. Um, any planets at 18 degrees. The Mars, Uranus, North Node conjunction is happening in the sign of Taurus. So my Tauruses are going to be feeling this heavy. All right. And we got the tower here. And this is like this conjunction is like a tower moment. So if you've been indecisive about something, the universe is coming in to be like, we're making the decision for you. Um, it will be clear as day, okay? Making a decision for you. Why is the five of cups here? This is crying over spilt milk. I don't know if this is you or somebody else. We have the ace of wands. Um, we have the king of cups and the 10 of crystals. There's somebody here who uh, you're dealing with or will be dealing with we have the two of wands here and again it's like him taking well her and the thing but taking action moving forward two of wands two of wands can symbolize to me sometimes a trip though I see the two of wands as a trip and even where she's like on the beach I'm like something about overseas okay there's something here about overseas there's somebody who's coming in for you, all right? And this person may have a lot of regrets um, or like there's been like this feeling of crying over spilt milk, like there's something they haven't moved on from, but they are moving on from it now. And this person's about to take some kind of decisive action. This feels like somebody who's traveling towards you, uh, whether you know it or not. Um, with the King of Cups though, it is kind of like this water sign energy. This is somebody who conceals their deep emotions. In this deck, it's like definitely somebody who's making a choice here. And the Ten of Crystals, they're bringing in some kind of like really long-term stability. This is like a person who's like, I'm coming to see you. I'm coming to see you. Whether you know this person or not. I feel like for some of you, you connect with this person on the internet. Or they like slide into your DMs. But something... Why is the tower here? This person coming in will be like a tower moment for you what is the tower here the six of cups this is definitely either a past life soulmate or you're reconciling with somebody okay reconciling with somebody let's see the world card some of y'all i'm telling you i'm telling you foreign travel connecting with somebody who lives in a different country we have the three of wands here and then we have the page of pentacles something this is something that you've been waiting on something that you've been waiting on are some of you going on a cruise what's going on here the world card what is the world doing here please the knight of swords i feel like there's this is communication clarity and it's coming in rather quickly. It's gonna be coming in rather quickly, but I feel like it's from a different part of the world. Um, the ending of a cycle is here. There's gonna be some kind of new beginning happening. Um, we have the five of crystals, the fool, and the lover's card. I feel like you're gonna have a decision to make and some kind of leap to take. This is, I'm telling you, like somebody inviting you on a trip, it feels very spontaneous. There's something really spontaneous that's about to happen for you, okay? There's somebody who's about to take some kind of really solid, decisive action towards you, and this feels very spontaneous. 
Um, let's see, what's the page of crystals doing here? What is the page of crystals doing here? The three of swords. There's definitely this feeling though of this person being in, like they're, they're taking this action after some kind of pain. Like this could be this feeling of um, like what I'm seeing of the heartbreak, like somebody being in some kind of heartbreak energy or disappointment, crying over something from the past, but then like looking to the future now. It's like I'm leaving that behind and I'm looking to the future. Uh, the Queen of Swords, the Nine of Cups. And then we had two here, the Seven of Swords and the Awakening. So if this person's been holding, if this is somebody you know and they've been holding back from you, like they're, they're, there's some kind of judgment here. I do feel like if this is somebody you know, there's something that they're sharing with you with the Nine of Cups. This is like an outpouring of emotions. I see you being a little bit more cold and like, like I said, like, mysterious like you're coming across like this person's pouring out while you're sort of in this energy of like cold and decisive um why is the queen of swords here and it's not like you're being mean it's just like there's something here that it's like whoa 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 yeah knight of cups so the queen of swords to the knight of cups so there's something about this offer coming in that you're a little bit like on guard about like you're a little bit on guard about this because it's like this is all well and good but what is this yeah ten of wands this person's about to release a lot of baggage and in the sake of healing in the sake of some kind of healing and the chariot card here i feel like this person wants to take really fast action here wants to like travel they're gonna kind of dump all this on you at once and you're kind of like whoa 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 you can't just do this like like you have to kind of chip away here there's something about this energy that you're a little bit like on guard about let's see who this offer is coming in from let's see who this offer is coming in from we have queen Radiates the regal feminine, uses her benevolent authority to protect others and liberator. So we have freeing yourself and others of outmoded beliefs, releasing negative thought patterns. Um, who is this person coming towards you? Exorcist. Freeing yourself and others of destructive impulses. I do feel like this is somebody who's acting on impulse here. And I feel like you're... You're going to be standing in your power when this person comes towards you because it's like we're not about to do the same cycle. Um, what is this energy? What is this tower moment? The prince. Yeah, this is somebody who comes forward with like a romantic offer. Who is this person though? Who is this person? Don Juan. Yeah, a little player player energy. Little player player. What are they offering you here? What are they offering you? Guide represents the nature of the divine in life and in yourself. Um, they're offering you some sort of romance here. There's it's something spontaneous. What are they offering you here? Trickster. It's unpredictable. Like there's something unpredictable here. Transcending conventionist, stuffiness, and predictable behavior. And then we have nature, friendship with animal, communication with a nature spirits. What are they bringing in for you? What are they offering you here? Father, talent for creating and supporting life, positive guiding light within a tribal unit. What is this? What are they about to dump on you here? <laughs> Seeker, thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are. Um... Yeah, so they could be sharing their experience of an experience with you or like a bunch of emotions. Truth. Truth. What's the truth that's going to be revealed to you? Yeah, the knight, the student, and the saboteur. So how they sabotage themselves. It feels very sacrificial. Like they're sacrificing that. Like 
they're going to, it's going to be like a sacrifice when they come forward here. Sacrificial and like, let me share all my feelings and emotions with you. Tell me about who this person is. Virgin. Fear of intimate union. This person could be somebody who's not very open. Um, and mediator. Definitely wanting to like compromise, make some kind of amends here. And the engineer. It's like making a plan. But I also feel like this person's going to do something really spontaneous. What is this spontaneous? Hermit. Is a spontaneous and companion. It's like they want this one-on-one -on -one time with you. They might come in with like some kind of creative offer. We have the prostitute here. Accentuates the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit. What is this person offering you? Child eternal. Determination to remain young in body, mind, and spirit. Ability to see things with fresh eyes. Um, they want to give you some kind of new perspective. They want to give you some kind of new perspective here. I still feel like they're going to ask you to do something really spontaneous. Something about them coming in here is shocking to you. Um, let's get some romance angels. What is happening in your love life? Month of August. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. It's going to be a lot of like seductive energy. Give your relationship a chance. So it's like saying, give this a chance. And wedding, this situation involves marriage. So maybe they're coming directly in and like, I want to be married. And you're like, whoa, 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 pump the brakes. Um, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek and romantic feelings. Your feelings are worth exploring. Some of you, this will be somebody totally new. Um, and like I said, you might be dealing with moving on from a situation, but you're going to be meeting somebody who's going to be taking some kind of really decisive action towards you. Let's get some heart to heart messages here to see. We have, you are always on my mind. I'm not ignoring you. I just need to focus on myself right now. Let's get some more. I can't fight this feeling anymore. I just want to love you the way you deserve to be. So I love you so much. I feel like somebody's about to like pour into you. And I really feel like this person like to an extreme. Like I feel like they're going to be communicating some long term plans with you. Like long term things that they want with you. And that's where you're going to have to be like. Um, I feel like you're going to be on the fence here. You're going to be on the fence because you're like, whoa, 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 let's pump the brakes. So Taurus, that is what I'm seeing for you in the month of August. I hope that this resonated and I will see you in one of my next readings.